this is try number three to film this with. First time I started with the G and uh, we ended up actually chasing a herd of goats and sheep, oh. which is weird. And uh, for that one, you can see that on my Patreon. Uh, I'm gonna put it over there so you can become one for only one dollar more, where you can see all behind the scenes and all kind of interesting stuff and funny stuff behind filming this kind of uh, reviews here. So this is actually um, uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna make some opinion of myself for these chest packs. And they are very, very popular. And I get off nest in last couple of months. Why I stopped carrying mine. So over here have G's. This one is from Basting Gear. And over here have another one, which is from Helicontech. These two are most commonly requested in the comment section to compare it. So guys are not sure which one they should buy, which one they should get. So we're gonna talk about that one. We're not gonna talk in a, about manufacturer specifically uh, because this is not, this is a gender free bed. We're just here comparing these two, which are most requested ones. And uh, we're gonna talk about chest packs in general. What I like about it, what I, why I stopped using it, some pros, some cons, and uh, we're gonna talk about that one. So whole idea of a chest packs, uh, as we call it the men's bra, no, it's really my leg again. No, anyway. The whole idea about the chest pack, as we call the men's bra, probably start with some weird guy having his wife's bra. And if you're wondering why I have my wife's bra around here, I know it is fucking weird. But when we put the jokes aside, somebody did invent this, and I have seen them before this silicon text one, which I had for the first time. This, this one was actually mine, so I sold it. But uh, they are around for, uh, for some time. And you can find it on the Chinese sites. It's not some new invention. They are there for a while, and uh, we're gonna talk about them in this suite. So to start this one, we're gonna go with the main question: Which one should I get? This kind of tactical one or Helicon Text one? I'm gonna give you my opinion here. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible. But uh, let's start first why I use it and why I use it in the first place uh, when I wear it around here. So we're gonna put one aside since I have this Bastion Gear one, I have two of these. Uh, mine is in OD green. And uh, the main reason is carrying your self-defense firearm around the forest. These forests where I live are pretty dangerous regarding the wildlife. We have here wolves, we have here bears, lynx, and all kind of animals that can hurt you around here. If you're careful enough, like I am, hang my dog around here, making noise and all stuff, you're gonna be completely fine. Simply, just never know. You never know when you're gonna end up with mama bear in front of you with the cubs. It just it can happen. Most of the time, I'm carrying my firearm on my belt here, and all the guns over here are checked before, pre-checked. So it was easier to me to carry it on my person. So the great thing about this chest pack, you have these inserts which Helicontex actually invented, I would say invented. So you can put your firearm inside there. So when you have it on your chest, something comes up, you can quickly open it and you have your firearm ready to go so you can defend yourself and your family or whatever, whoever crazy dogo maybe, or maybe not. That was the main reason why I have this chest pack in the first place. Second, if you're watching my channel, you should know that I am kind of a messy person regarding the organizing my gear. With this one, check this out. Everything nice and organized inside. So G has here his fault level DC4, he has his power bank, his fire kit, he has uh, these guys from Croatia, they're gonna know we eat these for lunch here. He has his Leatherman, I don't know, lighter, whatever. What else this Rito has inside? Oh, I could steal this. Um, anyway, all in all, whole concept is to have your gear nice and organized. My dog has a camera on his back and he's rolling on his back, so. Anyway, you get the whole point why you should or should not have one of these around here. The main purpose is to have your stuff organized. So you have your fire steel, you have to light the fire, just open it up, light the fire. You can put some snacks inside so you don't have to remove your backpack and uh, that's the whole thing about it. 
Over here we have Kelton Tech one, which is from uh, Smirk Outdoors. And this one is fairly heavy, and this isn't, he doesn't even have a gun here. What he has here is a mess. He's messy like I am. It's not weird that we work at the same, same shift in the same fire station. But he has some nose spray. Oh, nice. For example, he has here sharpener, his headlamp. I have no idea what this is. He has even his toggle for his tarp, <laughs> which is funny. And this Helicon text one, it has this pocket when you can put your map here. But we are in 21st century, guys stopped taking maps around there. They became kind of lazy, so they have GPS and all kind of stuff. Although you should know how to find your way home from here using a compass or simple map. We're gonna come up to that one in other words. Which one I prefer more between two of these? Well, I have to admit, I like them both, but uh, this one is much, much better. On this one here, you have more advantage. I mean, not only about this company, I mean on the whole concept of having the molly straps on your chest pack. As you can see, G has here Armitech Wizard. Yeah, it does work. You can put your knife here and uh, you can put all kind of stuff, attachments or keys. On this one here, you have this, I have no idea, this stretchy material, which annoyed me, that's, that's why I sold it. But uh, over here you can add a ton of things. Difference, they're both made out of Cordura, which is a great thing. But uh, main difference is this one has two separate compartments. So one should be for your firearm or whatever you want to put inside, but that is just the main thing that guys carry around inside of this pack. While over here you don't have that one, you have that separate, uh, I would say, compartment, but it is all on the same zipper. And that's the reason why this one is much, much bulgier than the other one. Cons, bad things about chest packs. First of all, let me say something. Over here we have, I would say, steam taped zipper, which is kind of a nonsense. You have here Cordura, which from the inside is just, there is no nylon or something like that. You have it nice and water resistant. Very often I'm out there in the rain, so I had this issue with my firearm getting wet. And all of you guys over there who has guns, who owns firearm legally, of course, and you can legally, of course, carry it around there, as I can over here. Just, uh, it's just annoying. You get water inside the hole of your gun. So in that situation, you have to have secondary layer again, all around your chest back. And then, of course chest pack is just nonsense. When you have to cover your clothing, it's not there, you have to unzip it, that way you can just take your backpack and unzip it. And that was the main issue for me. And uh, second thing, when you have firearm, which has, which weighs actually around two pounds, I don't know, two point something pounds, or a non-retarded unit, it would be around one kilo, it just tends to be too heavy and annoying when you're kneeling and do all kind of stuff. So. When you come here, you have to just remove it to put it on your tree. And then it just becomes the same if you have your backpack over there with all this gear inside or in your pockets. But all in all, this way you're gonna stay more organized and that would be maybe a better option for you there. Especially for a nice warm weather and dry weather like it is today, but it's so freaking cold here. And uh, I don't know if I forgot something, but uh, that's pretty much it. All all the info, all the specs you have, I'm gonna leave some links in the description, no discount code, sorry guys, agenda free, that's here. Uh, you can check out all the specs about two of these, they're made of uh, nice quality materials, as I said, Cordura, uh, the Hel Helicon Text uses these WT buckles, which are pretty awesome, they're pretty hard. Uh, this one has this, there's nothing written on them. And all in all, they're nice, nice quality ones. There are other chest packs you can find out there on these Chinese sites. So no insult to the Chinese, but don't expect much from the 20 bucks or I don't know, $50 chest pack. It's gonna just, zippers are crappy, everything is crappy, materials are crappy, so it's just a waste of your money. If you want to buy something like this, make sure you buy high quality thing here. And uh, I think I said everything, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about it, make sure you go down there in the comment section and just simply ask. I reply 
percent of the comments down there. All of that comments from you guys is gonna help this thread to push through. Hit the like button, that is very important, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you're new to the channel, if you like this kind of a content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. That's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and uh, as always, I'm gonna see you actually very, very soon. So, have a nice one.